Hi, it's Scary back with uh, another little video um, this time on uh, the Waterworth Blowfold. Um, it's a great little synth, um, has its own sound, it has its own character, although you wouldn't really call it a character synth. Um, it's like, it's a very um, fine tool for sculpting a sound, unlike uh, something like a, a Mini Moog, um, which is a wonderful in its own right. Um, it's a different type of deal, obviously. Um, this thing can especially make uh, really beautiful pad sounds. Um, I've also made uh, piano sounds. Um, I've made some. I made uh, an analog sounding brass patch. Uh, what you can do with this thing, they get it sounding more analog. You can add, like, you can add in like random little modulations just to simulate some uh, dodgy circuitry. So um, it's all been good. Found this thing for like maybe a couple of years. Um, However, it has a problem with, uh, especially this knob, but the other encoders are um, a little bit dodgy as well. You've got skips, which uh, is frustrating enough when you're trying to select a sound, especially uh, if you were in a live situation. Man, that would uh, be annoying. Um, but when you're trying to program a sound and you're trying to scroll through the pages where this interface is uh, really nicely laid out uh, in a way it would be difficult for it to be better with the amount of knobs that it's got um, it, it's frustrating when the, when the knobs skip and you can't select the thing that you want to select um, Nah, and you know, stuff like that can take you out of like your sort of joy, your creative flow. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I've got these, um, there's uh, some documentation done by a guy called Stromico, um, which he's got his own website, I'll, I'll send, I'll put the link up. Um, basically according to him what I need to do, I got these 470 Pico Farad capacitors um, I've got here, once I open it up that's going to be um, that's, that's the main uh, one that I'm worried about at the moment um, you got to get the capacitors, each one goes from one of the that pin to ground and that pin to ground, so that's my little map to show you and to uh, remind me um, if it doesn't work out eventually I bought I bought these from China which I'm gonna have fun playing around with at some stage I mean I think this is great like for uh, the, the, these cost about a pound each I got 10 of them um, came from China um, I don't mind buying stuff from China everything uh, comes from China anyway practically yeah, even if you even though that synth was made in Germany, probably half the parts came from China um, or Taiwan. You know, probably some of them be Japanese if we're lucky. Um, so you got these. I actually like the knobs on these better than the blowfield. I, I think uh, that's the thing that I don't like about the blowfield. I might actually be uh, be a total rebel and a change those knobs at some point because I, I don't like them they're very slippery and they um, this has got a little thing you can't you can't see the knobs going rain and rain very well um, so anyway without further ado I've got my solder and iron heated up got all my parts prepared hopefully so I think that's not sitting on the desk too well. So, by the way, 
Um, Stromaco said his uh, knobs were super glued on and he had, he had trouble prising them off. But what I find is that there was some resistance to start with, but you get you do it like a pinching action. Um, you need tr quite strong hands though, so I recommend um, white. You know, if you're young, like ten years old or something, do uh, do stuff with your hands. Build up some strength. And um, that will uh, do pride for uh, the future. Cause it, um, like a surgeon, so they work, you know, sure, surgeon, like a neurosurgeon, they're very intelligent. Um, they work with their minds, but they also need the physical skill to put their knowledge into action. So um, that's enough of my little one um, opinionated thing on uh, why I think you should uh, learn to work with your hands. Also, I find working with my hands tends to wake my brain up. So um, if I just sit on my machine, my computer, and try to write code all day, um, it's not so good. I tend to end up wasting a lot of time anyway, like watching watching loads of YouTubes it's uh, um, a my shame uh, so I know I can do a lot better than that really but what I find really uh, they're talking about um, when you see uh, talking about um, why it's important for kids to do lessons outdoors and they talk about all this stuff well, really, I think being outdoors, it's the outdoor environment that, that stimulates you. It gets the blood circulation going, and um, it's more enjoyable for the kids. And I think that's the main reason why kids doing, like, say, science lessons outdoors it is a good thing. That's a primary reason. That's a reason they actually seem to overlook. They seem to try to rationalise it with all this um, other stuff. Uh, Anyway, got my soldering iron heated up, so moment of truth time. Will it be joy or tears? Let's find out. So. Let's get those there. Try the first one. Right, here we go. <laughs> I'm only about to ruin um, <laughs> like a, a good few hundred quid's worth of equipment. Probably not, probably if I, even if I balls it up completely, yeah, it's only going to be. Look, I got the photo. I got really dodgy. Haven't got the proper solder stand yet. So I haven't done much soldering before. This is my first one. So this is like pretty hardcore for me. So let's just tack that on there quickly. Hopefully. Right, that went well. Got the first one on there. Might be a bit of a dry joint. I think it won't matter as long as you've got some sort of electrical connection. It won't be too bad. It's not like you got gonna have a lot of current going for either. Got that one. That one does look dry however. So right got that one on. <laughs> Mind you, it's probably blending with some sort of lead-free solder. And I don't even know what sort of solder I'm using because uh, the, sh the guy who ran, ran the shop where I bought bought my solder and iron. There's a bit of a impulse buy because I couldn't buy a cable that I wanted so I thought let's get solder and iron. 
because uh, I'll probably use it later. You know, I didn't end up making the cable, but what I did do is I ended up doing getting more and more in the electronics and doing a bit of soldering. I think uh, even if you're not gonna, even if you're not intending to learn much about electronics, I think. Learning how to solder is very, very useful. <laughs> but will this work or not? <laughs> According to Stromach, how it should do. But depends on the condition of uh, that rotary encoder because I don't think it's uh, particularly good. I did uh, spill about a pint of green tea with tea leaves in the bottom all over this thing and my keyboard and uh, both of them survived let's get that one on there there we go got that one <coughs> I don't like soda fumes um, This works. I'm gonna be really, really happy, and I'll probably go on and do the rest. Would my uh, encoder fit? Um, no, it won't fit. It turns out I'm gonna have to get the Alps encoders, or I think there's a another part that I can get. I have to order those from uh, the good old USA, I expect, because uh, the uh, companies that cater for hobbyists in England haven't caught on to the idea that people using doing projects with microcontrollers. And I like, uh, you're probably going to want to use rotary encoders at some stage because they make more sense for a lot of things. That's a dodgy bit of soldering, but that I'll have to do. Let's switch it on in a minute. Let's get my little. Uh, I would say also, if you're working with your hands, don't cut your fingernails too short because fingernails are really useful for getting in underneath things. Um, if you, like say you tie your shoelaces, you find it more difficult if you've got short fingernails. Don't want your fingernails too long. Because then you'll have another problem. Right. Right, let's bend those up like that, stop them shorting out. Let's turn the thing over, switch it on. Let's see. Does it switch on? Yes, it's switched on. Now right, let's have a look. Right, do they work? It appears to. Okay, that's all for now. I'm going to go on and do the rest on my own because.